Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create a macro to merge these same cells available in a column. Here I'll show you some example. I have this small table wherein I have names and the sales. Now you can see the names is available as PK, PK, PK. The next is Joe, Joe and Rose four times. So now what I want to do, I want to merge these cells, which is these same cells. And then similarly for these two and for these four. We can do it manually because this is pretty much a small table. But when we have a very big data set, then it will take a little bit time to merge the same cells manually. So what I have done here, I have created a macro to merge these same cells. I'll show you here Select this range. Then I'll go to the developer tab and macros or you can go to the view macros and just click on view macros now here you can see i have created this macro which is merge same cells and just click on run now you can see it has merged these same cells automatically if you have data like this here we have multiple columns also so we want to merge the same cells in this data so you can see this is the data available at january till here then it is fab and then it is March. And here you can see these six line item has the similar supervisor ID, then the similar supervisor name, and these are the different employees. So now let's I want to select this range. I'll go to the view and macros, view macros, and I will run this merge same cells. Then what will happen? Now you can see it has merged the same cells. This is the month of Jan. This is the supervisor ID and supervisor name and these are the employee which are coming under this supervisor and similarly here so quickly we have done this process using this macro now i'll tell you in this video how can you create this macro so let's go to the developer tab and visual basic or you can press alt f11 also so let's say i'm just creating it as sub merge same cells now here I'll take dim RNG edge range. I will simple run a loop in each cell of the selection. So I'll use here for each RNG in selection. So it will run for each cells of the selection. And now what I will do here, I'll simply check if RNG dot value is equal to rng dot offset i'll use here offset because i want to check the value of a particular cell and the value of the cell which is available just below of that particular cell is the same then it will merge those cells all right so i'll show you in excel so let me go here and I will unmerge this and just fill this down and fill this down here. All right. Let's say I have selected this range. Then first of all, it will check this cell and then it will compare this cell, which is F6 with F7. If both the value are same, then it will merge first these two cells. All right. So now I'll show you that offset and I want to use offset for row. So I'll put here one and i want to use in the same column so i'll put here zero dot value that means if the cell value and the and the value of the below cell is also same then it will merge that but make sure the cell which you are checking should not be blank so i'll put another condition here that is rng dot value is not equal to blank then only it will run and if now here take the range and what range first cell will be rng and the next cell will be rng dot offset means the cell which is available below this cell and just close this so this will be the range dot merge all right now i'll show you how it will work so let me minimize this i'll use f8 to run this step by step 
so it is giving this alert which is merging cells only keep the upper left cell value and discard the other value so i have to manually click on ok then you can see the first cell has been merged now we have to start this loop from the starting once it has merged this range then we should start this loop from the starting so what we can do to start this from the starting i'll take here a label which is merge sales okay then i'll put here colon and here i'll use go to merge sales all right so as soon as it will merge it it will go back to this and to get the rid of that pop-up again and again we can use here application dot display alert equal to false then it will not display that alert let me unmerge this cell first and just fill this down now select this and again we will go to the developer tab and we'll run step by step and use f8 so first of all it will check the first cell and both the value are same then it will merge it and then it will go back to the starting and now it will run from the starting the merge cell which is f6 this time the offset value will be f8 all right so i'll use it now you can see it is merging now this time has passed because the value are not same now all right so it's working the only difference is it is not aligning the text properly so what we can do here we can simply copy this range and just paste here as horizontal alignment equal to excel center and just paste this here vertical alignment equal to excel center now if i will run this here so let me again unmerge this fill this down fill this down and just fill this down so if i will select this and now if i will run this then you can see it is aligning the text in the middle because we have used the excel center here now i'll show you it will work for this data set also so i will select this range let's say and then i'll just click on run now you can see it's done all right friends so that is how you can create the macro for merge same cells this macro i have already created in pk's utility tool version 1.0 i hope you are using this tool this tool is very very useful to increase your productivity and most important thing is it is available absolutely free there is no cost for this tool you can see here this button is available in selection group merge same cells if you will select the range and click on this button it will do the same activity and i have used another feature here which is fill down blanks means if i will select this range let's say then it will fill down the blanks value even in merge cells so it will give me the same thing here which was earlier available now i'll show you if i will select this range let's say this range and then if i will click on merge same cells then it will give you the same result if you don't have the time to write the macro or if you don't want to create the multiple macros to this activities then you can simply download pk's utility tool version 1.0 from my website I have given the download link in video's description box. You can go to the website, you can input your email ID and name and you can simply download that from there. All right friends, thank you so much for watching.